In the Valentine's aisle, you'll find no shortage of heart-shaped boxes of chocolates. But in some boxes, you might find a shortage of chocolates that leaves you heartbroken. Look at all this extra space that they have around here. You could put five or six candies across the top here, and they have two. Consumer advocate Edgar Dworsky runs ConsumerWorld.org and says one of his readers tipped him off after their hearts sunk upon opening this 5.1 ounce Valentine's Whitman sampler. It's a whole lot of heart, but just 11 pieces of candy. The boxes are 9 inches by 10 inches, roughly. Dorsky says the box is misleading. If you remove the plastic filler, the chocolates barely fill a third of the heart. That's about a third of the box. It's not even half, for sure. You could get double or triple the number of pieces of candy in those boxes. And it's the same story for the 5.1 ounce Russell Stover heart box, which only contains nine pieces of chocolate. You're paying eight bucks and you're getting nine little pieces of candy. Both brands are owned by global chocolate giant Lint. The boxes do list the net weight, but it's only in small print on the reverse where you'll find the number of chocolates inside. We buy with our eyes. You look at the size of the box and that gives you kind of a sense of what's inside. For that reason, Dworsky says the oversized hearts could be a violation of what's called the slack fill law. It's a little known federal rule which says food packaging is misleading if it contains unnecessary empty space. How you package the item is important and you can cross the line if you make a package look much bigger than it really is is so choose carefully lest your valentine have a change of heart all right mm. and i'll show you the size difference that we're talking about i borrowed this from maria's desk okay. this is the 10.3 ounce whitman sampler so double the weight of chocolates oh, it's almost the same size versus the 5.1 ounce wow. half the size now a spokesman for russell stover and whitman's told us that the company believes it clearly indicates what's inside the packaging by listing the weight which is in the front yeah. and the number of chocolates on the back they did not respond though to our question about whether this might be a violation of that federal mm. slack fill law